This new model is lighter, faster, better balanced. I have to change the reels less often. We get more bindings for every reel. We spend less time changing reels and more time working. Also, the jaws are further apart. I can get into tighter spaces a lot easier. This part is narrower. I can get it underneath the rebar, so I get less misfires, which means I get even more knots for every reel. It's just altogether better. We make since 1999 gebruik van dit vlechtapparaat. Dat is nu inmiddels een 18 jaar. En we zijn in de tijd begonnen met de RB392. En ja, waarom zijn we ermee begonnen? Omdat dat wij zagen dat dit een snel bindapparaat is. En welke door onze medewerkers ook zeer werd gewaardeerd. Het gaf ons snelheid in ons proces. Goede bindingen, goede kwaliteit. We zijn nu aanbeland bij de nieuwe generatie bindapparaten. Die zojuist gereleased is. En we zien met name dat deze nog 30% sneller is dan wat we voorheen hadden. Dat de, de, de draadeinden dat die naar boven steken, he, dus zodat er geen contact is met het betonoppervlak, he, waardoor een mogelijke corrosie zou kunnen ontstaan. En, en dat is voor ons een heel groot voordeel, want de tijd he, die onze mensen besteden aan het maken van die bindingen, wordt daarmee beperkt. He, dus dat wil zeggen dat ze voor de rest van de tijd veel meer waarde toevoegende andere activiteiten kunnen ondernemen. En al met al is dit dus een heel erg mooi apparaat. Um, we found it much quicker than using the, uh, the existing guns, the 397s. Um, more versatile in the fact that you could get a higher grip range of bars and not having to use two different tools. And uh, we've also found that we've got a quality, issue, uh, quality improvement with uh, the bows don't leave as much of a tail. So we've got reductions in um, cover to reinforcement issues. Overall, it's a very good, very good gun. It's a lot faster than the uh, predecessor of the 397. Uh, the wider mouth has helped as well, you know, for getting around larger bars. We've not had no technical problems with it, as such as it breaking down or jamming up. This gun going forward is a lot better. Everybody that uses this gun has preferred to use it because of the speed, which again helps the company because it helps production. Much faster, much more reliable, and uh, easy loading, and uh, much more uh, bar, rebars. Much, much more reliable, no jamming. Il risparmio del tempo più che la produttività, perché il tempo delle legature si è ridotto del 50%. Quindi quelle due ore che noi leghiamo al pomeriggio si è ridotta ad un'ora e quindi terminiamo sicuramente non un'ora ma una buona mezz'ora prima la sera forse anche un'ora su qualche reparto il nuovo ha una macchinetta i2 lega piccola e lega più grande cioè, però vanno un po' meglio queste è uh, better for my back and my uh, arms and my body this machine is faster the tie is harder This is the new rebar tire from Max, the RB441T. 44 stands for 44 millimeter, what you can place in the nose. The battery is a 4 ampere, 14.4 voltage, with a LED indication. You can push on and you can see that the battery is full of charge. With one battery charge, you can do approximately 4,400 bindings. I will explain now how you can work with the tool and what are the benefits comparing with the other types. The magazine is in front of the tool comparing with the old types that was in the back. The, the biggest advantage of this is that the tool is very well balanced. You can see it if you place it in your hand, it's like this, very easily, comparing with the old type where the nose was going very fast down. For changing the coil, you can open the magazine at the front. Like this, you take a coil 
out of the box and you place it in the magazine. First, you take the battery from the tool, you push the button over here, that's taking the two gears in the front out of each other for bringing the wire into the tool. Push the button, open the magazine and place the wire in the tool. That is between the two gears. Then we close the two gears, close the magazine. We take the full charge battery. Now the tool is ready for use. At the back you have the switch. You can switch the tool on and above the switch is a dial with six levels. Number one you can use for floor heating when the tightness doesn't have to be so strong. If you need a stronger tight, you can level it up to number six. That's the maximum. Now we are ready to go.